it seems that you have met your end. Oh, what a pity. You know, I, I don't feel too bad about it, though. After all, if it weren't me, it would have just been one of the others, I guess. And I'm honestly just glad to be out of those air ducts. You know, it's, it's not easy for a hippopotamus to fit up there, and not easy to get down either, and not as young as I used to be, as you can see. I used to be able to do all the sorts of things. You're young, you're vibrant, you have that sort of pep in your step. Uh, it reminds me of a conversation I was having with one of my good friends, Orville. We were having a nice picnic one day. I believe it was summer, no, perhaps it was... Was it the fall? Yes, 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 it was the fall because the leaves had turned already. But I said to Orville, I, I says, Orville, I have a story to tell you. And Orville looked at me, you know, kind of odd and, and said, well, what's it about? I, I said to him, not every story has to be about something, Orville. Sometimes a person just wants to talk. Why does everything have to be a story? I said to him. He just looked at me and he said, well, you, you, you said you had a story and you know, he was quite right. I did, in fact. I told him I had a story. I suppose if a person just wants to talk, then it's best to not announce that you're telling a story. Telling a story does come with its own pressures and expectations, I, I suppose. After all, if you're just talking to a friend, then there's no more expectations than if you were talking into the wind. Words by themselves aren't expected to carry, aren't expected to stick. But if, you know, if you announce you're telling a story, well then, there'd better be a point to it all, you know? No one wants to sit and listen to someone ramble on and on and on with absolutely no end in sight. So, you know, it's, it's good to be mindful that when you tell someone that you're about to tell a story, that you have something to say. Telling someone that you're going to tell them a story is tantamount to asking them to stop what they're doing and, and pay attention. You're basically saying, hey, hey, hey buddy, stop everything, stop what you're thinking, I have a solution to everything. And well, I didn't really have any story to tell. In, in hindsight, I, I probably just misspoke when I said that I had a story. I think it would have just been better to tell Orville that I wanted to tell him something rather than tell him that I had a story. But you know, even then, it might have put too much importance on the whole thing. Either way, it was quite a nice day. I remember, I remember that we were drinking tea. 